All right. I think we may be going here. So just be a few moments. We'll have our guests on board with us. Let's see how we're doing here tonight. Oh. Hey, there you are. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Hey, hey, good, good. How you doing? Good. <laughs> oh, Bryce is all kinds of crazy. Got it. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, good. How are you guys doing? Good. Very good. <laughs> Kind of getting worried that wasn't going to work for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, it we, always work. <laughs> we had that. We had that same issue last time we tried doing that. I don't know oh, what yeah. it is. You would think it'd be more seamless because YouTube is owned by Google. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> You'd think. <laughs> Maybe if they acquire quality <laughs> rather than diversity. Ooh, did I say that? Ouch. <laughs> oh, damn! All right, uh, next. Shots topic. fired. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we know how this is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all good. <laughs> all I'm saying is you never heard of a product being bought out by Google and everybody going, woo, bought out by Google. It's always, <laughs> it used to be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just saying, I don't know. Yeah, the only thing uh, Google has ever gotten perfect really is a search engine, so. Yeah, I guess I can't they're really pretty good at that. that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but everything else they try to touch, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, not so much. All right. uh, so, what you guys smoking? Well, I haven't got much anything started up yet. I see you guys are ahead. I was busy setting up the room here. Yeah. Welcome to the room. Well, we're overachievers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to post real quick on Instagram and let people know. Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> Which Sounds is good. Uh, yeah, it's kind of awkward because I'm on my phone, but you're on your phone <laughs> while you're on your phone. Yeah, my phone's pretty legit. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I finally got it working, so I'm not going to even touch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got the bottom of the bag, so I can keep sucking up all that that little tobacco you get at the end. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah. Ah. What? There we go. Hmm. All right. There. Can adjust my window there. All right. I think I'm all set. Well, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for a little. Did we hear what you're smoking, Brian? What are you smoking there? What's that? What are you smoking? Oh, geez, of course. Half and half. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Some little half and half. I think I'm going to load up the... Uh, yeah, I'm not... Fence Carpoco, if that's coming through. Oh, oh, I can't see All it. right. I, I, don't, uh, I don't do so much seasonal blends, but I do... Uh, when it gets a little chillier, I do like uh, half and half. <laughs> like it's kind of yeah. cold and chilly. You know, I yeah, think about it's it. not the. Go ahead. No, I was going to say I was thinking about it after I decided, or you know, after we decided what to uh, kind of put it on, and it's like I don't change it up that much, really. I guess I'm kind of boring. <laughs> no. I usually the colder it gets, the smaller pipe I'll grab. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I think I don't know. Oh, looks like Scotty P's on board. What's up, Scotty? Oh, there you are. Kind of cutting in and out for a second there, Andy. I am again. I don't know what my deal is. Oh, you did. You must. Uh, you must move a certain way. I don't know if you get some interference, but it sounds like you're in an eight-bit video game. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the cheapest <laughs> headset I could find, so that may have something to do with it. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Bryce, did we hear what you were uh, smoking on tonight? Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm, I'm almost done right here, but uh, I'm smoking oh, no, some GLPs, fine. GLPs Meridian. So, ooh, um, yeah, I haven't had that. Uh, that is my 
serious, like, no one knows about it really. I don't know why. It's probably the most underrated blend, in my opinion, right now that I found. Mm. Meridian, huh? I to look yep, that it's one up. a uh, it's a very um, yeah. Oriental forward um, light on the Latakia English. It's perfect, perfect for fall. So I'd be down with that. Yeah, it's a good one. Mm. Well, finally, I'll give I like a shot. Uh, <laughs> Might as well, right? Oh, so I got a. I don't know if anybody recognizes this beauty. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little custom. That's uh, an ugly pipe. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my custom uh, Badger Piper cop mods. <laughs> really like it. Uh, trouble hearing you again. Maybe it's on my end. <laughs> I don't know. How's how's everything coming through for you, Bryce? I hear everything just fine. And Scotty P, of course, yeah. checking in with us. How's everything going out there for you as far as the broadcast? What pipe you got there, Bryce? This is my Dave Susie pipe. Um, Ooh, that's sharp. Yeah, it's definitely it's my number one smoker by far right now. Um, it's kind of like a, I named it, uh, the slightly canted ants, like billiard Bavat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. is, is that olive it's, wood on there? Uh, no, that's maple, uh, spalted maple. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 Yep. Cool. Yeah. It's a, it's a great smoker. Very nice. Brian, yeah. I don't think I caught your pipe tonight. I, maybe I did. Uh, I'm smoking one of my uh, billiards I made, one of my smaller ones I made oh, a while. Nice. nice. That's awesome. I don't know if you can see it or not. One when I started messing around with uh, draft hole size and the internals. and mm. It's actually ended up being one of the better smokers I got. <laughs> nice. So I drill it out a little wider. Faces to see how it holds up. Hmm. Still wondering when you're going to start selling pipes. When I'm selling them, I don't know yet. I have to <laughs> give them away first. I think. I'll put you on the list. I'll put you down for three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Badger Piper with your uh, cob mods. <laughs> They're nice. Yeah. I love mine. Yeah, I don't know. Mod, mods are weird. Mod, mods are easier to do, way easier to do than actual uh, making the briar pipes, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yep. Yep. That's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been one of the most frustrating things. Uh, one of the more frustrating things I've ever taken on as a woodworker probably is making the pipes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you find out you screwed up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or you don't leave it alone, then you screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Scotty P., if you're still out there or anybody else joining us, put in, you know, let us know what you're smoking on tonight if you're able to join us for a smoke. So, what have you guys been up to? <sighs> Not a whole lot. A lot of work in here. Yeah. Yeah. Getting ready for the cold winter to show up, I guess. I thought it was going to be real cold here tonight, but it, I don't think it's going to be too bad after all. No, it was uh this morning it was 36 degrees when we woke up. So Yeah, I think we were only like yeah, 40. Same here. <clears throat> Did you guys get yeah, that crazy a... wind? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, it's always windy here. But that yeah, it was uh <laughs> we hit what did they say 45 mile an hour winds last night? Hmm. So it's pretty fast. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we were getting nailed pretty good today and this afternoon. Like, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Scotty P is avoiding My the Latakia. That's awesome. <laughs> what is he smoking on? The uh, Wessex Original. Ah. What's the matter with you, Scotty? It's, it's uh, Latakia season. <laughs> 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 Join the bandwagon. 
you know, I probably will. I, I haven't gone through a lot of a lot of Kia this, you know, um, summer course and into fall, but I think it's a matter of, I think I once I pick up a couple of blends that are heavy on a lot of Kia, I'll be jumping all over that again. Probably just need to remind myself how nice it is. Yeah, I'm a, I'm really not a fan of a too too much Latakia, you know. If if it's in the mm-hmm. description as a like a a touch of Latakia or like a little Latakia as a seasoning, then I'm all over it. But I don't like uh, I don't like anything more than that. I think mm. it's usually just got to be. I like to taste it, but not to. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't like it when my ash or when my mouth gets all ashy. <laughs> yeah, I had yeah, I had that with uh, Father Dempsey. A lot of people like that one. I think that's a little too le- too much lot of key in that one for me. But we'll now, Brian, you're mostly into the aromatics, I think, if I remember correct. <clears throat> Got any non-aromatic go to? Yeah, mostly. Uh, mostly aromatics and burleys. It's usually what I smoke. Um, aromatics usually my go to is probably a uh, Lane BCA, one uh, Q. You know the usual suspects. Mm-hmm. You know, I've never had BCA. I've never had BCA. I like one Q though. Um, one, it's I a just, really smooth tobacco. It, I heard uh, mixing BCA with one Q is pretty decent too. Yeah, um, it also works good too if you have a blend that uh, runs a little hot and you you put a little bit in there and that uh, black cabin just kind of pulls it back a little bit too. Mm. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't think I've had the BCA either. I know I've had some one Q. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always keep some around. I mean, I know I always periodically feel like a bowl of it, so I just have a bunch yeah. just in case. Yeah. And that's that's kind of as far as my aromatics go. But I think Yeah, I, there's 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 a few bad ones out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got burned out a little bit on them. I just didn't uh Yeah. Yeah. But Sleepy Hollow though, I recently tried that. It's good. It's pretty decent. That is good. Yeah. Yeah, I got a sample. That's a good one. I can't remember who. Can't remember I didn't see with that pipe. Was that with this pipe? I remember. Mm-hmm. I know some, somebody sent it to me. It's pretty good. You sent some of that uh, Captain Black grape too, man. I that's something I. As funny as it sounds, <laughs> yes. I would not. I would not mind buying some more of that. <laughs> really? I could. Yeah, it. it's it's bizarre. It's, it's bad. Try out in your truck, otherwise it tastes like crap. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Spoken with yeah, the story there. Was... Makes your truck smell nice, though. <laughs> I don't know if it was about Grandpa Bones or I think he. I think he really liked it too. He's really into the all day, every day type aromatics, though. So yeah. Which I don't. I've I. Uh, Maybe smoke once every other day, once a day, maybe. So I like it to be a little bit more meaty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what other, you know, the uh, Colt Blood Red Moon. I bought into some of that with all the hype, and I don't know. I yeah, it's all right. I gave that to my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> bad, but actually, uh, dude sent me some of that lame ACA, but with some cherry tongue on it. With cherry already on it or added? It's like a cherry of uh, BCA kind of has maybe a little bit of a vanilla topping or a flavor. Mm-hmm. This would be like BCA. So it's a black Cavendish with basically a cherry flavored black Cavendish. Hmm. Hmm. That's not too bad. No, it was really good. It was a lot better than Blood Red Moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I and price wise, it's a lot cults. better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had Abacus. That was okay. Yeah, I, I have had was... Abacus too. Yeah, that was yeah. that was good. Is that yeah. kind of a vanilla? That, I can't remember. That was Pardon? a yeah. It's 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 a little bit of vanilla in there, but it's isn't it have Latakia or something? I can't remember. That was a while ago. I had that. That was one of my one of my first uh, tobacco reviews. I think I ever did on really? my channel. I, I think I remember it having a decent amount of 
actual tobacco flavor coming through. So yeah, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was it was it was just okay for me. It, mm -hmm. But it wasn't bad. It was just kind of all right. <laughs> yeah, I think it had I think it had too much burly in there for my for myself. But mm. not a burly guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not big into the burlies? Nah. Not I big mean, into the burlies? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't um I like uh I like No Haunted Bookshop? No, no. <laughs> I uh I like you know, I like Fire Cured, I like Kentucky, but I don't know, something about and I don't mind burly if it's in an English, so mm -hmm. but um I don't I don't like Virginia burly blends and I, whenever I smoke them, I just kind of wish I tasted more of the Virginias. I don't know. Something about... I don't know. just doesn't really... Maybe it has something to do with me previously smoking cigarettes. Do you get a lot of cigarette from the Burleys? I do, yeah. Yep. It's, uh, yeah, some you do. Yeah. yeah and, I, and I think one of the main reasons why I quit, I, I like smoked myself to quitting i don't know if that makes any sense but it, <laughs> yeah the taste of it kind of just eventually got disgusting to me and uh made me sick so mm. i stopped i just went to dip mm. and now uh it's almost like uh now it, it's almost like the same thing for someone if they get too drunk off an alcohol they can't touch it any again touch mm. it again yeah it's kind of this it's kind of the same thing you know oh sure yeah <clears throat> yeah there's a reason i can't drink screwdrivers no more <laughs> <laughs> yep, I can't touch, can't touch peppermint schnapps here. So, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually the first time I ever got. But drunk. yeah, I can't drink screwdrivers, and I, I also, I also <laughs> learned to set up your tent before you start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a good lesson a, right there. <laughs> it's a very wise thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> At that point, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, Alec, the uh, stay-at-home piper, suggested one time something that he was doing, combining, and I can't remember the ratios he did, but just a little bit, like maybe a quarter, if I remember right, like uh, Captain Black Cherry with three quarters original Frog Morton. That's actually pretty tasty. I mixed up some of that. That's pretty good. I'd do that again. Huh. Hmm. A little bit of, I guess, uh, I don't know, yeah. what do you call that, the crossover blend or something? Yeah. I haven't done much, uh, much of mixing myself at all. Not really, a little bit I've done with the exception of that one. It's just been kind of like, eh. Got <laughs> two nice tobaccos. I put them together and got one kind of eh tobacco. Yeah, I think <laughs> I I had the bottoms of two tins. It was a, uh, it was golden sliced and uh, fried mm. Morton cellar, and that was a, uh, <laughs> was interesting. It was interesting. <laughs> Got I've a done a couple somewhere. that have been okay. Yeah, I've still got a jar around somewhere, but I did. You know, yeah, I... This side, it's just full of like the leftovers. Just keep squishing them in there. Mm. One of these days, I'll try it. I don't know. Yeah, I got one back there too. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I get that little bit, I just chuck it in there. Really? No, I haven't. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while since I finished a tin. <laughs> I just open new ones. <laughs> I just have a. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just have a bunch of open ones yeah. and I just don't ever, f I feel like I don't ever finish one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't ever want to run out, right? I mean, yeah. So I, then I was like, <laughs> I saved that one for the last three bowls and then I'm smoking this other thing. And yeah, I think I got like two flakes of Latakia flake and just like, oh man. Yeah. I need to smoke them out, but <laughs> nice. Ways of Java jumped in on the <laughs> chat. How's it going? Java, what's up? I know what you're smoking. <laughs> I'm trying to think of that. Anything else? Like, it seems like there's more aromatics that I would like than what I can remember I like. So now I don't remember. I don't know. Maybe I don't like them as many as I thought I did. Yeah. I don't. I haven't I tried I'm... many. I. I, I could, to kind of put myself at blame, the years and years ago when I very first decided I wanted to smoke a pipe, I bought a uh, K 
Hey, what do you drink list? And I can't remember the, um, the brand, but it was a cherry blend of some kind. And man, I just, I didn't like it, but I kept going. Cause it's like, there's a reason people like it. I was into cigars at the time. So it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> and so I just like, uh, then when I decided to come back to pipes, I was like, just no aromatics. And so I, yeah, that's my fault for not giving them a chance. Excuse me. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I, I've had two or three people that are cigar smokers try a pipe, and I like try. I tell them what blends to do, and I always give them some of my heaviest Englishes. She <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it just it just makes sense. Like they're going. It's not like they're s- starting to smoke. Right. They're just going from a cigar, which is much heavier than most pipe tobaccos, to mm-hmm. pipe tobacco. So. They tend to like Latakia flavor. So see, I yeah, I've tried to like Englishes, and I I try one once in a while. I just I can't do it. <laughs> you just don't like the Latakia, or what? I've explained it on my channel before. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think I have explained it on my channel. Like I grew up on a farm, and it smells like silage, and it tastes <laughs> like I'm smoking silage, <laughs> and I can't get that silage smell out of there. <laughs> not that it's a bad smell it's just i feel like i'm smoking silage <laughs> i could see that be a little off-putting yeah interesting so uh, <laughs> it's just that yeah it's smell association and then yeah <laughs> yeah mm. <laughs> i still try them once in a while if someone sends me some samples or i got some that i bought i'm like nope still don't like it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to see if I still have any pirate cake floating around. I'll send you some. <laughs> pirate cake. Oh. Been into that one, Bryce? Haven't Yeah, was... not a fan. Not a fan. Okay. <laughs> see, that was real big on the you know, for the YTPC for a while there. Everybody was into pirate yeah. cake. Haven't seen it. It's yeah. kind of the way it goes though. Everything will come in come in waves where everybody's on it and then it's gone. Oh, yep. Um, yeah, I think I actually I saw on smoking pipes, I don't know if they're changing their tin art, but Cornell and deal has like three blends now that are in like that pirate series. Oh, uh, is that right? Another one. Yeah. So they have, yeah, they have two other ones. I have to, hmm. I'll have to look them up, but, uh, they yeah. look interesting. It's cool. Cool tin art. I think that's probably the main reason why people buy yeah. pirate cake. <laughs> Oh, geez, but, I'll always, and I don't know if this is a good thing to admit or not, but I'll always buy something once if it's got good, like, oh, yeah. whatever, whatever it happens yeah. to be, if there's a good art or a good presentation. I'm, yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a consumer, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so you're not I mean, buying anything least... half and half for velvet anytime soon? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, 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 gave, I gave all of uh, Americans, American uh, over-the-counter blends a solid shot, man. I did. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Not for me, man. Yeah, I tried them all. I did. <laughs> but I like uh, the only over the counter I like is Condor, and that's pretty hard to get over here. So. Yeah, I was able to get. Uh, who? I don't know why I can't remember anybody's name tonight. Uh, Bumbling Piper sent me some Condor. Yeah. That's pretty good stuff. Yeah, I got some from the Peaches, and those. Nice. It's very good. It is very good. Yeah, I'm just getting to the stage where I don't, uh, I don't experiment too much or try too much new stuff anymore. Went through that a lot when I started. I think probably within that first year, where I really started smoking the pipe more. I just started buying a lot of brands and then kind of narrowed down to what I like. And just, yeah, I did that Codger challenge last year, and I was like, you know what, yeah. I I don't mind velvet, and so I tried some of the other ones. And I'm like, eh, I'm happy where I'm at. <laughs> When I first came on YouTube, it was that, yeah, Colt Blood Red Moon, that was the big thing, and then Penzance was big for a while, and... Yeah, Blood Red Moon was the yeah, first I, tin I ever bought. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I only had, like, two bowls out of it, and then... <laughs> when I did, I told you, when I decided to get back into pipe smoking, the first tin I bought was, uh, and I'm blanking on everything's name, you know the one, the Dunhill Nightcap. Mm-hmm. That's what got me. Yeah, that's what got me into it. I was like, okay, 
I can see my people are into this. Well, that was the same way with cigars. I've told the story a lot, but you know, I tried smoking cigar. Well, I enjoyed smoking cigars on and off for a really long time. In fact, my older brother, when I was 16, got me into you know a few cigars and stuff. But you know, whatever. That was. I think the. Uh, yeah, it's it's old enough now that can't be held responsible for it. But the uh, <laughs> so going on and off and on and off. Then when I really wanted to get in and smoke some real cigars because they were like the you know the Thompson's House brands and stuff and just the oh I don't know just some cheap ones but uh, they were pretty good gas station stuff. So when I wanted to start to get into uh, you know better like more premium ones. I'd go into the shops and this was around ninety six ninety seven around that area. And I guess Candela was the big thing back then, or maybe it was just getting done to be with the big thing. So every time I'd go into a shop, I'd tell them, you know, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty new. Haven't smoked a lot of cigars. What do you think? And they'd always give me a Candela wrapper. Really? Never have liked them. And no, so finally yeah. one day I was like, you know, forget this. I'm picking something out of my own. Mm-hmm. That's when I grabbed the, uh, uh, Hoya de Nicaragua's dark Corojo. And that's like, now I get it. I had no clue what I was grabbing, but then I went home that night and looked it up. And of course they do the, the manly advertising thing, you know, not for the new smoker. Don't even think about touching this one. <laughs> like, man, this is what I like though. <laughs> if I'd have read that beforehand and never tried it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that That's much funny. about cigars. I... No, never been big into that... cigars. I just never got into them, you know. Um, it's just a decent cigar. I could get a whole pa- uh, pouch of tobacco for my pipes. So I was like, eh. Yeah, that's true. Waves of Java is wondering where is Steph? <laughs> wondering what? Where is Steph? Oh, <laughs> uh, she's my stalker. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think me and uh, she comments on me and. Lonnie's uh, channel all the time. <laughs> just, <laughs> I just leave them up now because they're just ridiculous. But yeah, what can you do? What can you do? I've also <laughs> recently picked up a hater. I don't know who it is, but they always thumbs down a video. So. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm like, missing out. I, hey. I've never got that. You know, you made it. I think that's like a badge Nearby. or something. Like I get the hater thing, and I know, right? It's like a. It's like, <laughs> Uh, I've made it now in the YTPC. I have a hater. <laughs> <laughs> For the longest time, I was like, "Where? How come I'm not getting a bunch of thumbs down? I'm doing something wrong." <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, they they're subscribed to me and they watch every video. I don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, Andy, you got to be coming up on two years pretty soon, huh? Yeah, I was just thinking about that because the uh, that uh, San Scarpoco, or, or I don't know why I can't say that, but that was uh, I bought those tins as a part of the giveaway for the one year. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I still have it. Still have not broken into it. I am. Get, I am going to age it a little bit longer. I think. It's. It's really good. I, it does have that Cornell and Deal like harshness. Yeah. You know, when you get it, which I actually don't mind. I kind of enjoy that in some of the blends. Yeah, I don't but, mind that uh, either. No, I think it's it's getting nice. It's it's dropping a little bit of the spice that it starts out with, which I think is nice, but it's still good stuff. Nice. Well, did Scotty P just go and thumbs down every one of my videos? <laughs> All he says is success. Ha ha ha. We found the hater. <laughs> <laughs> the artful codger is on board. Welcome, fella. Hey, Ben. Hey. Nice. There's another velvet velvet lover. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not alone. <laughs> Yeah, he agrees with you there, Brian. He says he could buy a tub of velvet for one good cigar. But he also enjoyed the Candelas. You know, I'm going to have to take that back. My buddy did buy me one of the new, uh, I can't remember what they call them, but it's the KFCs with the Candela wrapper, the Drew Mm. Estate Kentucky Fire Cured. Yeah, Swamp Thing, right? That wasn't, yeah, Swamp Thing. That wasn't too bad. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the only one I've I've liked that has Candela was the uh, the Barber Pole Asylum. Mm. But you know that's not all Candela, so. But it was good. Yeah. Scotty P, I'm with you. You can't remember ever thumbs downing anything. It's like that's too much effort for me. I'm with you. Yeah. Why take the time to press thumbs down when I could just mm -hmm. go to something else? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's how I always kind of done it too. I just stopped watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, LL Haynes is on board. Lonnie, Lonnie, what's up? I can't think. I feel like I I, I might have to take that back. I feel like I may have done a thumbs down one time, but it was legitimate. Not in the YTPC, but it was legitimate, and I gave a reason. Hmm. Nice. It was just stupid information. I think it was shortly after my daughter was born, and I was looking for some information, and they uh, there was something on Spina Bifida that this lady, it was a video, this lady was just giving complete crap information, and it was just making oh, me mad. Yeah. It's like, you know, this you're giving advice as if you know, but this could hurt people. Mm hmm yeah, I can see that. Lonnie's complimenting the beard, Bryce. Yeah, there you go. Or like the lack of it. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. missing about uh, three quarters of it from the last time. I yeah, saw. it was, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scotty Peace never had a Candela? I'd say try one. I mean, you have to try one. Yeah, it might be. I. I kind of view it more as a little bit of a novelty. Maybe like on St. Patrick's Day, try one. <laughs> but, Filthy hooligan. <laughs> yeah. Dutch master candelas. There we go. <laughs> so Andy, Andy's, Andy's big into cigars, aren't you, Andy? You have a big humidor. I've been smoking cigars a lot longer than I have been back into pipe tobacco. Mm -hmm. And I'm the kind of guy, it's like, you know, why buy one or two when I can buy a five pack of everything and then have a friend come over, you know? Right. It's cheaper with cheaper. The more you buy anyway. Right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> buy boxes. Uh -oh. yeah. Not quite there. <laughs> Not Bryce, there uh, <laughs> you look faster. <laughs> you look lighter and faster. You get a nice compliment. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, my neck stopped hurting now. It's great. <laughs> hey, we've gone through beverages I tonight? Could, I, I don't think we've touched on the beverages. Oh, no. Anything good to pair with or just some water? Root beer. Ooh, good choice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Diet <laughs> Coke for the Badger. This is... Yeah, forgot to add hopefully. the brandy. Yeah, hopefully, Brian, you'll recognize this. And if not, they're lying about it. But it got some... Oh, Sprecher? Or... Yeah, the cherry. Nice. Never had that. Oh, man. it's uh, This is the first time I've tried it, and it's good. I recommend it. <laughs> I recognize the brand. I've yeah, never, just seen, had our, uh... never seen that one. But I think this is the first time I've seen it too from the old um, Bryce. You probably have it too, but the uh, Menards. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their uh, their root beer is amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, their root beer and their cream soda. Oh yeah, yeah. Cream yep. soda is really good. Mm -hmm. That's one of those good cream sodas that you can like still feel the texture like five minutes after you drank it. Yeah, they sell those in uh in the cigar shop I frequent and. Uh, they sell probably like for almost everybody that sits there and has a cigar. They all they are more than likely drinking one of those. So. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, they they sell a good amount of those. I haven't been to my local <clears throat> cigar place too much lately. We got one like smoke shop that actually the owner is big into cigars, so he keeps a really nice humidor. Mm -hmm. In our actual like smoke shop, it's a tinderbox. Uh, I don't know what you call them, franchise or something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I've got more in my cabinet <laughs> than what they offer. <laughs> I don't know how they stay in business. 
<laughs> but then uh, Deadwood, that's usually where my buddies and I will go when it's, uh, you know, cigar night. Go up to Deadwood, to the Deadwood Tobacco Company. There you go. It's only like 45-minute drive, so <clears throat> why not? Yeah, my, uh, my cigar lounge is pretty, I mean, it's, it's definitely not local to me, but uh, it's by my, it's right by my college, so. Whenever there's a break in classes, I go there to study or whatever and smoke a cigar. Nice. It's pretty. Yeah, it's nice. Um, but actually, that uh, that place that I go to is actually the home of uh, Crux Cigars. So, oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the owner of that smoke shop uh, owns Crux Cigars and blended the sticks in Nicaragua. So that's pretty Very cool. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, I've only had a couple, but they were pretty good. Yeah, he's a really, really cool guy, so, yeah. Oh, Lonnie's saying he doesn't know anything about <clears throat> cigars. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> You're not alone, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lonnie is more on Andy's level than anything. <laughs> I'll get some cigars your way one of these days here, Brian. I had picked up some. We are my local B and M went business. Mm. It wasn't a bookstore that sold some cigars and stuff, and they had them like their whole humidor or whatever was left when you walk in. It was like fifty percent off. Oh, nice! You know, so I I didn't I didn't know enough to know I didn't know, so I just grabbed some. I couldn't even tell you what I got. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah, three bucks, I'll take it. You know, and it's originally six or seven and whatnot. <laughs> so. Yeah. The only reason I really got them is so I can get some pipe ash for uh, make pipe mud. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> they are kind of handy when you're golfing. Handier than a pipe, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are certain things like yeah, fishing too. Uh, I, re I really can't smoke my pipe when I'm fishing, man. I can't do it. Uh, no. I try. <laughs> if, I, if I do smoke a pipe and fish, I'm like bobber fishing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't really. I'm not even much of a luncher. So Is that you kind of have to get used to. Yeah. My I camera went down. I don't know what's going on. Oh, well. Turn it into a, a podcast here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to turn it on again. Nothing. I don't go. know. Is it just my end not coming through? I saw you for a little bit. You're flashing in and out. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Are you uh, you, you out, like, on a laptop or something? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just using my phone. Me too. <clears throat> I don't really even use my laptop hardly at all now that I got the smartphones out. Unless I have something I got to read a lot of text on, then I usually use my tablet then. So I still yeah. don't use my computer. Yeah, I think, <clears throat> I mean, me and my wife, we have a uh, a Surface Pro. That's only if we have to do like homework or something somewhere else, which... For her, it's frequent, so she uses it the most. But, um, like, oh yeah, it's like a tablet with a keyboard attachment. Sure. So, oh yeah. So yeah. that's pretty much all we use. And when we're home, I have like a big ass computer that I built, so that's what we use. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a cheap tablet, like a Viking Pro, mm. it has that detachable keyboard, and mostly yeah. I use that for uh, business stuff. It's just easier to do uh, when I'm doing the mm -hmm. stuff for the business. It's easier on the keyboard enter stuff cut you know customer drop down and all that yeah stuff. for sure yep yeah that yeah i think that, uh, pro that program think, ports like, right over to TurboTax, which is nice <laughs> oh nice yeah um i think when it comes to tablets um i don't really use tablets all that much other than that one but i got i got one with my smartphone you know as like a whatever add it to your plan and you get a tablet um oh, sure yeah for like ten bucks or something stupid, and yeah, then you have to pay ten bucks a month after that. <laughs> mm. 
but I did that and I I never used it not <laughs> once <laughs> so yeah yeah otherwise the big thing we use ours is uh, my stepdaughter has autism and she likes to watch like Disney stuff or search look up Disney stuff so if we go to somebody's yeah, sure. house that kind of keeps her occupied oh, nice. so yeah that works yeah. pretty well yeah we uh that's why I didn't want to buy an expensive one. <laughs> we had to get our daughter um, a um, one of those kitty tablets, and I turned all the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this this new generation coming up, guys, is scary because yeah, she already texts people and takes selfies, and it's crazy, man. She'll pick up your phone and just go at it. I don't know. So we had to get our own little tablet with games that aren't on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and disconnected. Uh, I think she bought a game or something. When that's when I noticed she was like using data. On, oh uh, yeah. She's like on Wi-Fi, so she bought a game through my Google account. <laughs> she must have clicked on one of those hundreds of ads, you know, that they play now during games. So. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. I think my camera's still whacked out here. It's in and out. Uh, I wonder. I wonder how I bad can I can see break things by changing uh, USB ports here. There you go. Let's see if that'll reinitiate it or something. <laughs> no. Almost. Yeah, well. Hmm. You want to try maybe switching, maybe switch to your phone? I might be able to do that. I wonder if I'll lose, I wonder if we'll lose the, uh, the hangout though. Yeah. Well, just invite yourself. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, send yourself an email. Yeah, won't we all see any comments though? <laughs> I'll send like five of them so that maybe one will go through. <laughs> <laughs> there, I think I'm running now. There you go. Now you're up now. Oh, hey. There. Switching the old port. There you go. This is an old laptop, but it's still got a little more power than the newer one that I have. The newer one I bought, it was at the uh, our uh, school of mines up here, the uh, technology school. They go, you know, go through a whole bunch of them, and then they, you know, have everybody assigned one brand or one model that they need to have, you know, for their for school, and then they basically buy them back oh, sure. when they're done. Yeah, sure. And then they turn them over to the people, you know, break them down and take all the broken ones and, you know, build them into one good one. And then they sell them for like 70 bucks. Nice. So like, might as well, you know, help out the school. Plus it's a cheap computer. Yeah, sure. You know, what's yeah, great. You know what I heard too? I have a sister-in-law who's in high school right now. She's 15. Um, and now all their textbooks are on a, uh, on a, on a little, uh, MacBook. Oh wow, that's crazy! So all so all the students have a MacBook, yeah. and all their books are on it. Um, <laughs> I think that's insane because I, I don't know because colleges aren't doing that. I'm in college right now. <laughs> I'm like, well, they're they're going to get <laughs> yeah, used to I that heard. and then go to college and <laughs> then what? <laughs> I got to use my hands to turn the page. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of archaic shit is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just started that a couple of years ago. All the middle schoolers and high schoolers have their own tablets and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. That's so, crazy. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. Nope. I didn't That's why kids a... are getting weaker. They don't have to carry around books in their backpack. <laughs> oh jeez. I, I don't even those days. Man, backpack say... like out to here. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I I might have to learn, but all of my you know, I have like a physical copy of all my textbooks, but then I have online. I do have access to it online too. Um, mm -hmm. But I never use the online one. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm old. I don't know. 
Because <laughs> you're old. <laughs> old, I think you're younger than both of us. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Especially yep. now that you shorten the beard, you look way younger. <laughs> yeah, I cut about, what, five years off or something. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> yep. So I'm switching pipes and tobacco right now. Finish my other bowl. Yeah, me too. What you digging into? So my uncle brought back some some Strauss Tobacconist's uh, Independence blend, blend. Independence. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I was surprised. It's like English. I have no idea what's in it. But I know there's a lot of key in Virginia's. Maybe that's it. I haven't had too many of theirs, I don't think, Strauss Tobacco, but they've, I mean, they've been pretty good. See if I can get that going. Little red wrappery, maybe. There you go. Nice. I don't know. Yeah. In my kit that I bought from Vermont Freehand, by the way, free plug for them. They can send me free stuff. All there you, you go. Yeah. <laughs> they got a lot of my money lately. <laughs> Sponsor the show? Oh, that'd be nice. I'd be down. Especially Dude, after the way last weekend started. <laughs> Jail Thompson pipe now. We'll have to do Cobb. the commercials halfway through. <laughs> One of my cops. Yeah. Yeah. The BCA. Hey, we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I love the you show, know, man. I, I do. I was needing to buy some briar lately. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was terrible last Friday when I. Broke, kept breaking everything. <laughs> yeah. Breaking drill so bit. Man, I remember sending you the messages, pinning cutter, mm -hmm. the kite pin, and then, then I got that drill bit stuck. I had to use, I could not get that tapered drill bit out. I ended up using um, a torch with uh, one of my little map gas torches. Actually, I actually heat it up to get it out of that acrylic stem. Oh wow, wow. that's crazy. <laughs> mm, Scotty P has a good no. point. He says it's called Independence Day, and yet it's in English. Ah, whoa! Mm. I like no, I like that irony. That's pretty legit. <laughs> Maybe it's a change at the red coat. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to sleep tonight, Scotty P, with that on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, we made we took a lot of English there things and made it our own, right? But yeah, that's true. Like their language. We made it in America. <laughs> America. <laughs> it's fitting. <laughs> yep. So, Andy, you liking that drill press? Very much so. Yep. Nice. Makes it a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. Be a little more options here, make it a little nicer. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Dude, well, like I said, Nick. the faster you can do something, the faster you can mess it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what was I? Uh, I was actually building my ping pong ball launcher, and uh, the mm -hmm. first experience with my bandsaw that uh, sucked it out of my hands and sent it flying across the room. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Ooh. It's always pretty fun when that happens. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Yeah. I bet. Cut the ping pong ball launcher during our <clears> thing. <throat> did, it, did the bandsaw send it farther than the launcher sends the ping pong balls? Uh, it, it turned out. It turned out okay. I think uh, I'll probably uh, I'll probably show it off. But um, right now it's. Because I built it, and I have two other teammates, and uh, they happen to be the only other girls in the class. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they don't have any tool experience, so I ended up building it because I have tools. So they're painting it. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <There> you. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't even like uh, me being like a, you know, I'm not, it wasn't me being sexist or anything. It's just, they <laughs> Yeah, they just couldn't really do anything about it. They can't build anything, so. See, we're speaking about the individuals here, not about the uh, 
Yes. Not about the sex. It has nothing to do with the sex. <laughs> Boy, yeah, I started bashing Google for their... <laughs> <laughs> camera down oh yeah they just want me to think that it was my camera <laughs> i don't have a channel to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a what kind of a youtube live stream is this code it <laughs> we're smoking pipes on youtube <laughs> yeah they'll probably What's in those pipes well, i'll be the next thing to get banned mm-hmm I don't know, man. Yeah. YouTube, they, yeah, I don't get it. It's, you can either decide to make a environment that's good for creators, or you can make an environment that's good for advertisers. There's no mix, though. Mm -hmm. There's such little middle ground. They're chasing off a lot of their, like, high money draw creators because of this. It's, I mean, they can't make money anymore. Well, they're making it so... It's nearly impossible for, no, you know, non-monetary creators that are starting to start. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's what they're doing. They're just, I mean, so in like five years, they're gonna have like a, you know, much lower income because it's gonna be less creators mm -hmm. that are big enough to make money. So, whatever. I'm just uh, yeah, I'm just chilling. We're all we're we're all really small time, so. You yeah. don't really oh, care. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you think about it. Even, even the big fish in the YTPC and the YouTube game is small oh, yeah. time. That's not so. Oh, you definitely. You got to have at least what a couple hundred thousand, if not more, even yeah. to even see start yeah. seeing some money. Yeah, and that's and that's yeah, and that's that's making some decent like supplement your living type money, not just supporting yeah. the channel. Yeah. Right. Lonnie si signing out. Time for dinner for him. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks, Lonnie. His six his uh his six weeks uh of not smoking because of his surgery is up tomorrow. So Oh nice. Yeah. He's gonna try to smoke tomorrow. That's what he said. Very cool. And I love this pipe, man. It always smokes great. The draw, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's the pot shape. I get really good flavors out of it. But the pot shape with all the surface area, it's kind of annoying having to try to baby it and keep it lit. Yeah. Especially when you're talking. If you're talking when you're smoking a pot shape pipe. <laughs> It'll yeah. go out a good amount of times, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I have too many. I've got one. It's an old uh, Edwards pipe. I think I've showed it on the channel before. That really, I think it's just over an inch wide. The uh, the chamber. Yeah. Yeah, this one is one about, inch wide. So. I got about three or four of them up here. In that pot shape. Yep, I love the, the guy pot who's shape. good at. Yeah, a guy who's good at smoking a pot shaped pipe and talking is Kane Rod Piper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you, can, you can keep it going usually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I have a I had to I do have another pot shaped pipe coming soon. By uh uh what is his name? W Rewarziak. Uh mm. I think I know you guys heard about. Do you know who I'm talking about? I think so. No. Um, he does like he does kind of like those weird. He's pretty well known for doing the uh, um, unconventional type shapes with the uh, porthole type things in them into the reverse calabash. It's pretty mm -hmm. cool. But yeah, we get a want a discount for a for a pipe, so I'm gonna get that oh, nice. pot. Yeah, I think uh, what, Unicorn Piper and Lonnie all have the same ones. We all won the same discount for the same pipe. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, it turned out okay. I have yet to get a new pipe. <laughs> yeah. Well, you make That's the new impressive. one. That counts, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Once you I make, I make them, new. but I've never actually bought a new pipe. I've done a lot of restoring and <laughs> making, but just never bought one yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've. I don't think I've ever bought an estate. 
No. Well, you <laughs> I was get given. Into restoring I was, them, yeah. yeah, I was given some estate. Oh no, that's not true. That's not true. I bought uh, the eBay Savinelli, so I still have to re. I still have to restore that. Nice. Yeah. It's got some. It looks like we're. It looks like we're. Uh, all in agreement here, Ben. Uh, Artful Codger's not big into the pot shapes. Yeah. No. No. I do. I don't know. I like how they taste, though. I think I can get some pretty sweet flavors out of them, but I don't know. Plus, I just really like how this one looks. I like that's got a, like a square shank and everything, does it? Yeah, it's a uh, yeah. I like it. It's definitely Very my cool. nicest pipe, that's for sure. Got it at the Chicago Pipe Show. Yeah. Yeah, that was when I first started watching your channel. I think it was after you guys came back from the Chicago Pipe Channel. You and Big yep. Face Two, we did a video. Yeah. Yeah, that's when he started his channels when we got back. Okay. Yep. He he fell in love with the YTPC uh like the YTPC in person and then went to not oh, in person. Nice. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Darth Vokadra says he enjoys the smaller bowl shapes overall. Wondering how we think about that. You know, I think the more different ones I smoke, the more I think I like the older, uh, like the estate, like Dr. Graybo's and uh, K. Woody's and stuff like that. They're just kind of smaller altogether. I don't know. Just I think I, yeah. I, I love I K. Woody's. The diameter that I always really love is, what is it? Uh, it's just above three-fourths of an inch. So what is that, like eight? I don't know what the diameter is, but. Like the five-eighths, is that what, what that is? Yeah, is yeah, or something. It's like just above uh, three-fourths of an inch. Yeah, mm -hmm. what it is. Eleven-sixteenths or something. Yeah. Zulus, Ben, I don't know that, or Scott, I don't know if I've ever had a, if I have a Zulu. I don't think so. I think I have like one Dublin shape. No, I don't have any Zulus. I love billiards. I love how billiard type shapes smoke. Oh, it's mm. solid. I haven't had a bad one yet, so. Yeah, I kind of, I kind yeah. of like the Zulu and the kind of that bent down a little bit where it's kind of canted, kind of that look. Mm hmm. I like ants. I might get an ant sometime. I think I'd have to. I think I'd have to see one before I could buy one. I'd have to see exactly. Some of them people smoking them just seem way too short for me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this one's like. Yeah. Really, this one's like right above, right, right by my nose. Yeah, this is definitely a nose warmer. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah, it. That's ki that's kind of the shape I like. Yeah. Kind of that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I got like an old yellow bowl. That's kind of a. Okay, uh, Dublin. Uh, there you go. Uh, kind of Ivory Sun there, yeah. Yeah, I got this one in e uh, eBay auction. I was going to restore it, and I got it, and all the yellow coating was still in the bowl. It was smoked maybe twice. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Vince into the straight apples or the <clears throat> Lovats. I, th I really like that, the Love It. Yeah, Lovat. I like how the Lovats look, the mm -hmm. shanks. Yeah. yeah. Labas, Canadians, Lubbermans, I, I kind of like all of them, but I don't really yeah. have any. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Family. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one of my first restorations that I did, like, you know, really want to do a really good job on it and not just clean it up was uh, um, Dr. Grabo. I believe it was Dr. Grabo Lavat. I had that uh, Mastercraft one I uh, sent to Ben. <clears throat> I, I did a resto series on that. That was, I think, the spring. Or I don't remember no more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I'm right. Yeah. I am going to dip my hand into restoring pipes very soon. I have um, that 7 Ellie I need to work on. And then I do have an old long jam, but... Um, I don't think I'm ever. I don't think I'm gonna smoke that one, but I definitely want to clean it up. 
I think I remember seeing that one before. Yeah, it's like the bent. It's a bent long champ with an oval bowl. Sure. It's kind of it's kind of bizarre. Yep. I don't think I've seen that. That's right. The Le champ. Yeah. <laughs> My wife was so quick, quick to correct me on that, and I still can't say it right. <laughs> no, I'm a <laughs> Le champ. I am a I am an American. I screw up everything like that. So yeah. Well, well, you, you, you can still go to New York and actually go to their store there, and they they have um all their old <clears> leather goods. So they have some pipes on in the, the place display cases and cigar holders and stuff. Really? I mean, now they all make, yeah, now they make high end bags and stuff. Mm-hmm. Cool. They, uh, yeah, they, yeah, that was pretty cool. I mean, the, their leather bags are like $5,000 or something like that. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, hmm. yeah, they have a neat story. If you ever get time, look it up. That was the whole story behind Larcham was uh, actually pretty interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I, the right. only story about them is I know that they were, they sold them in our, PX is during World War Two. That's all I know. <clears throat> the long champ yeah. pipes. <clears throat> yeah, got, it was real popular. Real popular with the GIs, and they brought them back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bryce is getting a good heckling from uh, uh, from the artful codger here, saying that you need to smoke that pipe. They're made for smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were made for looking smart and getting your pointing <laughs> crossed. <laughs> like, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> It's I'm just hoping I get some neighbors YouTube. with close enough with kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want some neighbors with some little kids so I can shake it at them. <laughs> this ball is mine now. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. I gotta grab something to drink quick here. I ran out of soda. Right, nice. no problem. So many we got in here, Andy. We got a. How many people watching? Oh, we've been bouncing between about three and five all evening. Oh, that's good. Yeah. How are you guys? Uh, how are you guys doing? What are you guys smoking? Scotty P's thinking about getting into the restoration. I think you gotta give her a shot. You know, what I found works good, and this was a tip from I think Renee and. Who else recommended it? I can't remember who else it was now. Um, but I think it was off of Renee's recommendation, but it's the um, Murphy oil soap. Put that on a little, uh, like an old toothbrush, scrub that through the rustication. That'll clean them up really nice. Oh, it's a good idea. What do you use for the stems? You use OxyClean? I've never liked the OxyClean. I just... I don't know. I guess it. I guess it helps. Maybe I'm not doing it right, but just st- with like a real fine sandpaper, sand them down. Okay. We need to guess what Ben is smoking. Hmm. I'm gonna say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> what was that? Six dollar. Like smoking pipes had like one handmade box of some six hundred dollar tobacco. I think that was who got that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right, stop I'm... saying bad things about me now. <laughs> <laughs> Zap wood cleaner. Huh. I don't think I've ever heard of Zap wood cleaner. That's Ben's recommendation. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for waxing a rusticated pipe, yeah, having to brush it with the toothbrush. That gets a little tiresome. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking about buffering the pipes? Yeah, just some different restoration techniques here. The magic eraser, I've tried the magic erasers, and again, it just doesn't seem, and I don't know, I'm only doing it wrong, but it just seems like it, it's like not abrasive enough to get yeah, the oxidation out, but then too abrasive to leave a nice finish. Hmm. I like the micro mesh pads. Yeah, I give it a real nice finish. Yeah. <sighs> I 
Which one is the, uh, there's Halcyon and, what's the other one, the uh, pipe wax? I know one of them is supposed to be good for rusticated pipes. I've never used either of them. Halcyon yeah, yeah. 2 and something else. Zap Wood restores at Walmart. I'm going to have to check that out. You ever heard of that, Brian? Zap Wood Restore to clean up an old pipe? No. No. I always, uh, as far as like waxing pipes, I always just use uh, usually uh, uh, I got Jewelers Vision and some Triple I and uh, what's that other stuff? I forget. And then uh, Canuba Wax. Mm hmm. Which you can use your drill press now for buffer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do it all the it time. Might... Works great. Wow, it yeah, might I some standing attachments. <laughs> we'll you see just... what I get to do out of that. You just <laughs> go down the ace, get those little six inch buffing wheels. Good to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, uh, do either of you uh, use a lathe at all or just the drill press? I do. Oh. I'm hoping to get a lathe here at some point in time. That's something I wanted for a long time to start building uh, custom shaving brushes. Yeah, I've wanted to do that for a real long time. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, the lathe I got is pretty crappy. So yeah, well, I gotta be honest. <laughs> yeah, with, I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm not. I'm not too. Uh, I'm not too into the shaving hobby. <laughs> what? <laughs> I couldn't but. tell. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gillette Gillette got six years out of me and I had a <laughs> That was enough, huh? <laughs> I I honestly got I mean, because I never got into the safety razor or anything, but um even their disposable razors, man, they uh they overplay how long their blades last. I'll tell you that because oh, yeah. there's no, <laughs> there's no way in hell one of those blades is gonna last me a damn month. There's no way. No. Just does not happen. So. Oh, they're terrible. See, that's when I got into the, you know, like double-edged safety razors and stuff like that. Because even mm -hmm. the most expensive blade is like, fifteen cents. You know, who cares if it lasts three shaves? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I barely ever even use a blade to shave, if I'm honest. <laughs> <clears throat> I usually use my electric shaver. Nice. That's all you can always tell if I don't have a carpet job yet, because I don't shave from Friday to whenever my first carpet <laughs> job is for the week. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I could never uh, I could never use the electric. I think uh, my hair is too coarse or it's too black. I don't know, but it uh, it never shaves it all it looks like i have shadow when i'm done with those so yeah you always kind of get that a little bit yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah well ben's still around i'm back another pipe here got some of his velvet nice oh man it's getting real <laughs> <laughs> there you go velvet is still the one well besides some of the fancier captain blacks you know some of the fancy ones i, I cannot <laughs> find that locally velvet there's just uh, really? i don't know what it is everything else i can find yeah i can get this at my grocery store <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know what right that by is the dutch masters <laughs> <laughs> i got a little store just down the road here just a little mom and pop shop and they have uh, <laughs> like borkham riff and stuff like that and yeah basically everything but velvet i don't know what it is yeah, I have some velvet. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I'm keeping it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Lars is on board. Good evening, Jeremy. Jeremy, what's up? I. Uh, hey, Jeremy. I'm gonna smoke it again sometime, and then. The velvet. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> if I ever, if I ever, develop some kind of a taste for. For Burley, I'll, <laughs> I'll give it a go. I'll send some. I got some Granger I'll send your way from. I have to look it up again, find the tax code. It was like 1946 or some crazy thing. Wow. wow. 
found two unopened packs. Of course, they were all kinds of dry, but found yeah. two unopened packs at the uh, antique shop. They wanted three bucks each for them. I was like, all right, I'll try it out. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go. Mm -hmm. hmm. Tastes like Burley's. I sent some to Ben. I think that was his his agreement. Tastes like a Burley. <laughs> They probably didn't even know there was tobacco in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if an antique shop can sell tobacco. It's funny. Yeah, I don't know. And the funniest thing about it was was the uh, little booth or whatever that it was in was all like all your uh, like baseball cards and like uh, GI Joe's stuff like that, just a mix within all these like, kids stuff. <laughs> That's <Here's> funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had no idea. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I've been into that red wrappery for a while and it's uh it's pretty good. There's a lot of oriental in that too. Yeah? Yeah, I've been mm -hmm. uh I've been a fan recently of tasting Orientals. Have good. Oh, nice! Ben scored some uh, tins of Bond Street from the '40s at the antique shop for a dollar fifty each. Nice. Very nice score. Yeah, good deal. I think the oldest tobacco I smoked was the. Uh, the bulk and Sobrani that Hoosier, <clears throat> Hoosier Piper sent me, the original from the 70s, hmm. sent me a few bowls of that. It was um, it was definitely different than the new stuff. I got to say that I probably prefer the new stuff, but I don't know. It was good, though. But I think there's something... Um, it's always a topic that I was thinking about. Um, someone, someone told me that there's kind of like a uh, a tipping point for aging Latakia, where mm -hmm. it starts to it starts to sour a little bit or lose its, lose its flavor. And I, I don't know. Any any experience with that? I haven't experienced it myself. No. You guys on the chat can jump in too. But I've I've definitely heard the same thing where it it's one of the first to start going. I think the the smoky or whatever it is that, you know, the smoke on it dis or dissipates. Is that the right word? Hmm. Kind of ages out faster than anything else. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I have some, I do have some Englishes. I mean, this Meridian is, this Meridian is from 2010. And that's past where a lot of people say Latakia ages. There's not too much Latakia hmm. in it, but it's good. So. I don't know. I don't know what the number is on that. Yeah. If, you had, if you're the guy that figures out the magic numbers for all the tobaccos, man, you could make a killing. Still in date. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just use a carbon dating science on tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can get a grant. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> That'd be like a student project. That'd be legit. <laughs> I don't think I don't think my college would, I don't think my college would like that too much but <laughs> Yeah, I've been saying they wouldn't say that the uh Latakia sours just dissipates and blends out the rest of the blend. Okay. Blends so it, it just out. Kinda, I like that description. It blends it out? Yeah. Hmm. So then pretty much you end up only tasting smokiness, is that what he's saying? Cuz well, I think it's the it other way around. This by the way around, I think the smoky flavor goes away. Dissipates. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, it's not a bad thing because I don't know. In my opinion, a lot of Englishes have too much smoky flavor. So there you go. You get this. <laughs> <laughs> About ten more years, man, you can really start smoking that. <laughs> <laughs> that silage. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, for smoke tonight, Jeremy. What do you 
he's smoking. Bryce is throwing stuff. Yeah. I didn't like that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Got a cob going there, Brian? Yep. Nice. The same cob I, same cob I had to that codger challenge. Nice. That was when I first started messing around with uh, putting mahogany shanks on. That's why it kind of has a weird little cut right here. Mm -hmm. Looks good, though. I, I mean, I abused the hell out of this thing. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> it's been in fishing boats and uh, camping everywhere. Thing keeps going though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Ben's putting uh, twenty-five <clears throat> years a lot. On tipping point for Latakia. <laughs> so better start stocking up now. <laughs> I'm gonna test that out. Just wait until you gotta cut. Wait until you gotta cut the beard again. That's about right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I don't think I'm growing it out again until I'm probably around mid thirties, forty maybe. I think oh, <laughs> I think I decided I might be a little too young for that long of a beard. <laughs> <laughs> well, we Jeremy's have deer season around. Up some deer LJ season around the corner. So. Oh, deer season! Deer season, everybody grows theirs out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it definitely. I mean, it definitely helps you. With your face camouflage, obviously, but, but yeah, yeah, this is all you need for that. You don't need a big Pretty bushy. Because <laughs> sometimes, I mean, there's it gets long enough where you just turn your head a little bit, and it's this giant thing moving. It's kind of a kind of goes the other way after a little bit. <laughs> I would be worried about getting caught in my zipper in my jacket or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know that that actually happened to me a couple times, and it. Uh, it is not pleasant. <laughs> it's not pleasant. So that's you're... why you, that's why you shaved. <laughs> well, there's a lot of reasons like that, but yeah, yeah. Probably the main reason though is uh, my beard is so curly that I just how curly is it? It's freaking curly. <laughs> I just couldn't handle it anymore. I just couldn't. So. You took it a full know. year, though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I did a full year. I did. Um, I cut the mess. I cut the mustache after eight months. My mustache was eight months long. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, mad, mad respect to people who have long mustaches because <laughs> wow, yeah, oh. it like changes your life. You like have to eat different, dude. It's yeah. rough. It's rough. Um, yeah, I, I had it, mine I mean, go once. And it, it, yeah, it's rough, and I and my mustache specifically grows faster than the rest of my face. So my mustache was that way. I could actually take it and pull it down past my chin. <laughs> wow, that's too much. That's too much, man. So I cut it off. Mine started getting coffee stained. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Mine doesn't Can't come in quite as straw. dark as yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so maybe I'll grow it out again. I mean, I, apparently sometimes when you when your hair grays, it gets straighter. So maybe maybe I'll have a long gray beard someday, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Who knows? Let's see. You digging into something else? I think if you have a long, long gray beard, you're required to smoke a church warden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't I even have. You know what? I, I I have been recently liking how uh, like half or mini church wardens look. I do like that. They mm -hmm. look nice. I don't have any though. I have like a. I guess I have a half church warden. The uh, the corn cob nation pipe of the year, but. Mm. Mm -hmm. That stem is a. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get a replacement stem for that one, but it's really nothing special. It's just yeah. the, uh, yeah, it's just that standard cheap plastic that they have. Yeah. We'll see. Acrylic stems really aren't all that expensive either. No, they're not bad. No. 
Ben, I'm going to no, see if I can from you, Vermont up Freeman, my, uh, Laffy here for you for the beard. I've got a, I've got a few pictures floating around bearded up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what are you guys? What are your? Yeah, I'm main... not allowed to shave it all off. My wife hates it. <laughs> <laughs> what are your? I shave main... it all off, then she gets mad. Oh, she doesn't like me without scruff. Because yeah, that's my wife too. That's why she. I gotta uh... have like at least the goat going on. Yeah, something. <laughs> <laughs> yep same here i mean I, help, I, met, I, have no, I met my wife i have no upper like lip a, either so i look goofy <laughs> yeah i met my wife with like a almost a two-month beard so oh yeah oh there so, you go <laughs> yeah. Well, you, yeah so have you ever shaved and has you ever seen you clean shaved yet oh yeah i was in the army for six and a half years oh that's right yeah, I was actually, when I met her, I was at the back end of my two, I had two months off after my first appointment. I met her then. So I had a full beard. <laughs> Digging into some Frogmorton cellar. I've never had that, but I heard, Dude, I've heard a lot of good things, obviously. I mean, if there's an English that you like, it's this one. The cellar, yeah, that's pretty tasty. Yeah. Somebody was talking to me about that on Voxer the other day, and I don't remember who it was. It's our dude, actually. Yeah, this is always my first English recommendation. This one in Peter Stokeby's proper English for a cheap uh, bulk <laughs> English. Yeah. Um, that one is, it's always really good. It's always solid. So what are your guys is, uh, let's give me, uh, three, three of your top fall blends that you're smoking right now. <laughs> Fall blends. I've always been into the. Uh... Oh, what did I do here? There we go. Um, <laughs> well, I don't even know if I'd call this a fall blend, but old Joe Krantz, I think I'm into more. I smoke a lot of it, but I think I smoke it a lot more when the weather does start to get cold. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Uh, I smoke the same thing, so it's gonna probably be half and half. BCA or uh, velvet, but I I tend to like the burly blends. Like I said, a little mm -hmm. when it's more cold, cooler, and crisp in the morning. I kind of like I kind of like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a big variety type of guy myself. <laughs> I really like just a lot of choices. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that's kind of yeah. on the same way. I think that's why I don't. I think I smoke a lot of variety anyway, and that's why I don't. Mm -hmm. As I was thinking about that, couldn't think of a whole lot of seasonal blends that I'd be into. Yeah. I mean, I have a, like I said, I have a, just a bunch of tins open, um, but I still, I don't like, I don't like having a plan of what I'm going to smoke a certain day. I'm not really that kind of a guy. Yeah. Um, so I just go into my closet and grab whatever I feel like. Um, but recently I've been grabbing Frogmorton Cellar. And GLP's Meridian, and then uh, the occasional bulk and Sobrani. So those are my those are my three blends right now. Nice. And that's what. Uh, oh, Cornell deal! That I totally got thrown off by Ben's comments. <laughs> Sunset Harbor Flake. I don't even think I've ever heard of that one. I have recommend either. that in cold weather. <clears throat> Who makes mm. that one? Cornell and Deal. Mm. All right, I'm going to steal the screen here for a minute to, to satisfy, satisfy Ben's curiosity. Oh, wow. There, there you go. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. That comes and goes every now and then. <laughs> Bring them back, man. Bring them back. <laughs> too. Crash and burn. <laughs> Oh, 
know you're you into straight razors and everything, but <laughs> <laughs> you can just collect them. You can still collect them to be ironic. <laughs> yeah. Let's put one in my shirt pocket. You know, I'll carry it around. <laughs> this isn't for my face. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I think I, because I did get in. Luckily, I got in on that last Esoterica drop for the Sobranis. Because I. Uh, oh, nice. I think it was you. You sent me the sample I had of Sobrani. Yeah, I did send and, you uh, some. Man, I fell in love with it. I did that in Margate. So whenever I find yeah, those good stuff, mm-hmm. yeah, I smoked that up, man. I did. I think the only thing that I'd really be looking after now for uh, any sort of like esoterica or anything is the uh, and soda bed. I got some of that quite some time ago. That was the first tin of esoterica I ever got, and then just haven't. When I was able to get in on some, that that wasn't one of the options that they've had. Mm-hmm. That's a nice light uh, English. It's a light English. Yeah. That was. Oh, I thought it was heavier. I I haven't had it yet, so I will definitely be. I don't know. I'll try it out. I have some. So Scotty P is getting with the Mountain Camp Wessex Original and Sam Gaw with Navy Flake. Mountain Camp is a good, solid one. Yeah, it is. I like Mountain Camp. Mm-hmm. And then what, GLP what? Sextant is closing in the gap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, um, I was... I haven't tried it yet, but I have a old tin that's pretty pretty blown up by now, so... Mm. I got... Yeah, I got that at the Chicago Pipe Show, and uh, I think it's around... I think it's around 10 years old. Nice. So it's, it's, really good. it's got, the, uh, it's got the, like a rum casing on it, right? I'm not sure. Let's see if he gets. I think it does. It. Stonehenge Flake is one I've been wanting to try for a long time. I don't know why I haven't ordered any yet. I, I have a sample. I haven't. I have not. Uh, been able to bring myself to try a, uh, um, God, I can't think of it right now. Um, a Lakeland blend? Of, is that what yeah, yeah. I, I, can't, I have not brought myself to try a Lakeland blend yet. See, I like them. Yeah? I don't think I've tried any either. I don't want to, I guess I don't want to ruin a pipe <laughs> if I don't like it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some good advice from Jeremy well, Larson. If you order a Stonehenge, be ready to order a case. Yeah, that might sound like me. I really do like the Lakelands, though. That's another one I think everybody should try, just to just to try it. I mean, you get such varied opinions; it's hard to tell what you're going to think on it. That's true. Yeah, it's very true. What you need to try is mixture seventy nine because you get <laughs> kind of range of opinions on that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone like it. Do you like it? Uh, it, that's it's a weird tobacco because sometimes I'll smoke it, and sometimes the next couple times I do like it, and then I don't like it. <laughs> so it's a weird, it's a weird blend. Hmm. Uh, I got that too. Cane Rod Piper the likes it. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, it's I don't know what it was. Blend. I don't think I put enough effort into it to see exactly what was changing from each from each time. Why sometimes I really enjoyed it, sometimes I didn't. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> ah, the cob. Scotty P is throwing out that you need to smoke it in a cob. No, no need to worry about ruining a pipe. I don't know, man. <laughs> I have a cob feeling that there. Pipes matter too. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. I think that whole thing on you can't ghost the cob isn't. Uh, <laughs> All cobs sure. matter. Buy a bag I of have... the, uh, Missouri Mirsham seconds. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Cobs, I think cobs do ghost a little bit. Slightly. If it, if you go from a, 
Because what I what did I do? I smoked like uh, yeah. I I smoked bulk and blue, and then I smoked, um, or like golden sliced after that. And I uh, mm. yeah, there was a little bit of Latakia in there, so it does happen. And I don't know. I I've heard horror stories of Lakeland, so. <laughs> I don't know. I love my cobs too much, man. Maybe I'll, uh, cause I recently did, I won that, uh, weekly Mr. Broad giveaway on Instagram. Oh yeah. <laughs> it actually, it's a, it's a decent pipe. It is. I like it. It, uh, really surprised me. I'll have to show that off sometime. But maybe that'll be my Lakeland pipe. I've been tempted to buy their uh, Morda pipe. I guess it's not too bad for for Morda reasonably reasonably priced, something like that. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Some people really like their Mister Brock. Some people really don't. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Is it the pearwood? I don't know if that's what causes the issues with them. But some people don't Maybe. like them. I don't know. And this one I want is a. It's a. I, I got a couple of parrotwood pipes in there buying. Yeah, I think you know what yeah. I heard too is I mean, um, you got to be careful with <clears throat> some allergies or something. Um, I would imagine, yeah. Yeah. I mean, anytime you get into something that's not uh, not domestic wood, you can you know you can have an allergy for it. You know. Yeah. But usually. Um, <clears throat> Purple heart stuff and zebra woods. You don't want to be making pipes out of those, but if you're going to be working with wood, it's going to be one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I don't have a problem with the only wood that actually ever got me when I was woodworking was uh, butternut. Actually, mm. it just broke out like crazy. Mm. Yeah, you know? uh, yeah, I've heard actually it's a uh, like olive wood gets away with it because not very many people are uh, allergic to them. But what was it? Uh, yeah. Some maple wood pipes can have issues with a lot of people. Really? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why, but I don't know. But that's a domestic wood, so maybe I'm. Yeah. Not... Uh, maybe the spalted maple, but that would be if it's like not stabilized, maybe. Yeah. Just because of the, you know, if you're, mm -hmm. if you're working with spalted maple in its raw form, raw cut, I mean, it's fungus, so you start, you're gonna start throwing spores in the air and stuff. So you kind of got to be careful with some of that spalted stuff a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you get makes it makes sense. Yeah, Ben puts out a good point here. Condor is considered a Lakeland by many people. Yeah, I did get the taste, and if that's true, because I, I thought it. I mean, I figured it was just the flavoring because it's an over-the-counter. It's got a casing on it, so I, I just thought they flavored it that way. But if that's the actual Lakeland flavor, then I'm okay with it. So if that, I like it. Yeah, I've never really gotten the soap. What a lot of people <clears throat> call like a soapy flavor. I, it's it's floral. Yeah, I, I, I mean, got more so of a floral of must. Yeah, I got more of like a floral mustiness to it. I like a. Yeah, it definitely didn't leave the soap in my mouth, and I know what that tastes like. So. <laughs> 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 you guys definitely need to try some mixture seventy nine. <laughs> <laughs> May I'll send you some? I got. I still have a bunch of Lakelands. I've got them all together. I'll send you a nice sampling. A Lakeland sampling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could be good. Could be really bad. We'll see. Who knows? <laughs> it's kind of a but then, I'll, but situation, then I'll definitely. Right? <laughs> I think then I would definitely feel like I have to smoke it. So. Exactly. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's great about that Codger challenge. You were forced to smoke that same blend, you know, mm -hmm. all the way through and then the same pipe. And what a lot of people realize is so much during the course of it is if you're smoking through it, more so with the guys that were smoking briar, but the the blends almost change a little bit after you get through them. I mean, you're smoking only that for, what, four ounces, you know, of it. Yep. So that was – Briars are saying they just, their pipes just came alive. Well, I mean, you got so many pipes, you know, you yeah. never smoke one enough to actually get it to build up cake real nice and well. So, right, yeah, I think this is actually the yeah. first because this bowl was naked. I think this is 
I have legitimately built the cake in it now, you know? Um, most of my pipes usually have the pre-cake, which I actually prefer. But, uh, yeah, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't end up doing anything special to build the cake. I just smoked a lot. So. Yeah. I did the uh, – I do um, – do kind of a weird tamping where I almost I scrape it down the sides a little bit so you don't get the chunk sticking to the wood. Um, it yeah. takes a little long. It takes longer to build the cake that way, but it works for me. So I do that too. I don't know if it's. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's not the right thing to do. But I've noticed these. Uh, ben got me turned on to this brand that Eight Deco. I think it's how you pronounce it. There you go. Eight Deco, and it's. Uh, oh. The bottom yeah, cool. of it is there's like just enough of an edge on the bottom. Nice. I don't know if that'll ever focus in, but to where it's like perfect for just giving it just a real light scrape. Like you said, just, just to catch mm -hmm. all the, the junk that hangs on. Yep. Ooh, yep. Dawn dish soap. Ben is saying uh, Lakelands, including mixture 79 are much better than Dawn dish soap. <laughs> <laughs> and urinal cakes, better than urinal cakes too. <laughs> I don't know. Those are pretty good, man. They're not until you try it. Especially the bubblegum ones. <laughs> <laughs> I only got the soap once, and I think my mom felt bad. I, I think she was so mad she didn't know what she was doing. It was like in the heat of the moment type of thing, and it was a bar of lava. So, like, all the pumice and junk in there, I think she realized what happened and felt bad. Yeah, Dude, my mom, oh. couldn't. she couldn't find the bar of soap. So she used liquid soap. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> she she oh, thought that was a good replacement. And she just poured it in my mouth. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> to this day, you still can't drink dish soap, huh? I can't. I could not. I, I think it took several days to get it completely out of my like, mouth. Oh. So. <laughs> you were fo foaming for a week. <laughs> well, yeah. And then, like, I mean, it kind of got in there. It kind of got into my soft palate up into my nose. So, oh, that's, that's screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a, <laughs> one of her moments. I bring it up and she gets embarrassed about it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> I never got the soap. No. Well, I didn't swear around her after that, so I guess it worked. <laughs> yeah. Argue the method, not the outcome. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, it didn't work in the long run overall. I, I swear all the time. <laughs> but, whatever. <laughs> I do, but I watch myself more now with the business now, so I'm not as yeah. bad as I used yeah, to be. I suppose. Yeah, I'm able. I'm able to turn it off if I need to, but it, sometimes I get by the goalie, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking yeah, of your goalie, we got hockey season up and running. I don't know if any of you guys are hockey fans. I'm always a hockey fan for about three Go weeks. Go Canucks! But... Till Calgary starts stinking. Nice. <laughs> I am a Canucks fan. No, I never really. I mean, <clears throat> I enjoy watching hockey. I never follow it though. I really should. We like to call ourselves the state of hockey, right? So I should. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why Wisconsin doesn't have a hockey team. We don't have a professional. Yeah, I think Wisconsin would do good in a hockey – with a hockey team. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's Wisconsin, so it's Packers season. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Packers and Badgers, yeah. I think it is kind of weird, though, that you guys don't have one. I know. You would be like the Wisconsin Muskies or something, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I, the only reason I follow – the only reason I follow hockey is like the Canucks is because me and my friend were drinking once on New Year's and we're like, oh, there's no more football. We should watch hockey. And so we just picked a random team and happened to be the Canucks. And nice. nice. We didn't choose wisely. 
we didn't want to be trendy, you know, <laughs> like the Penguins or something or the Kings. We're like, yeah, let's go with a Canadian team. <laughs> yeah, heaven forbid you pick the Minnesota team right next to you. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, that was the easy choice. That was the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say it was a well thought pl out plan. <laughs> 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 well, I got into Calgary because there used to be a guy that played for him, Lanny McDonald. He had this bright red hair, and he always had a big old walrus mustache. I thought, little me, thought that was pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah guy, guy plays for the uh, San Jose Sharks. He's grew up just about 45 minutes from here. Right. I got like, some friends I went to school with him. I forget the guy's name, Poblowski, I think his name is. Hmm. We admirals. What league is the admirals in, Ben? Yeah. They're like a, a semi-pro team. Yeah. We've got a ECHL, I think, team. Can't remember what league they're in. It seemed like for two or three years, it was always a different league because they, the leagues kept going bankrupt. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say, I've, I don't think I've ever watched a semi-pro anything. Oh, uh, we got a Triple A team just next town over, which is a—it's fun to go watch a baseball game once in a while. Mm -hmm. They used to do a bus trip. I from, lived in uh, uh, Arizona. The... I lived in Mesa, and so there was always a lot of Triple A around. Yeah. Those are yeah. those are fun games to See? go to because the performance is just those are you know, almost right at that level, but they're still. I mean the. Uh, Hohokam Stadium was just a couple of blocks from where I lived in Mesa. And I mean, every seat, you were just right down there on the field with them almost. So it's just a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Well, they used to run a, from the bar on the bus, it was like 20 bucks covered your trip down to the game and back and all the food you can drink and, or for all the food and you could eat and drink up till I think like the seventh party deck, if you had enough people. So. Hmm. Nice. IHL. IHL. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to check out where – I don't think we're in IHL. Hartford Whalers, yeah. That was pretty sad to see when Hartford had to go. I don't know if Jeremy's still on, but I think Sioux Falls has a has a team as well, some kind of hockey. <clears throat> oh yeah, because he's been putting pictures of them up. Mm. Yeah, ECHL, Rapid City Rush in the ECHL. Hmm. That's all right, because you know I'd watch it go to a lot of NHL games in uh, Phoenix when I was looking there. The Stampede, that's right. USHL for the Stampede, Sioux Falls. Uh, but no, I went to a lot of the uh, Coyote games. And so, you know, every time Calgary was in town, of course, have to go and all that. And at least with the level that Rapid City is in, it's just, I couldn't get into them for the longest time because it was just way too big of a bridge to, it was too much of a gap to bridge. Is that what it is? Between the level of play? Yeah. It was hard. It was hard to watch. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. I've been uh, haven't really watched or followed many sports recently. I think uh, I've watched the last two Vikings games, and that's about it. Yeah, that was that was quite a Viking game a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, you like that one? <laughs> <laughs> no, not so much. <laughs> dude, Eat, seasoned over. Thanks, <laughs> dude. That, that hit though was I don't know what to say, man. That was a legit hit. I don't. It, yeah, it was. It was. It was pretty clean. It wasn't even. It's. He didn't even. I mean, and the announcer said he like drove him into the ground. I'm watching it. I'm like, he like tried to roll over him. You know, like it was kind yeah. of like a. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it was dirty at all. 
Uh, I kind of watched that hit, and I'm like, how in the hell did you break a collarbone on that? You know, like, he just kind of put his hand down at the wrong time. Yeah. Sorry, Rogers. (laughs) (laughs) If you're watching. (laughs) Not going (laughs) to... The reality of it is that I'm still going to drink beer on Sunday, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the Vikings are doing good, so. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I would worry about is, as a Vikings fan is Rodgers went out of that game and you guys could only kick field goals. You know, I'd be a little concerned with that. And I'm not trying to dog on the Vikings. It's just you guys could have had your way with the rest of that game with our defense. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that game would have uh, went much – in a much different direction if Rodgers still played. So we know that. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. It's going to be – the NFC North is going to be interesting because yeah. I think the Detroit's the only team that has a, their starting quarterback yet. <laughs> I will say, though, our defense is looking pretty damn good. So. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, your run defense is pretty pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Oh, Scotty P is a sulking Jets fan over there. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I'm a Vikings fan, so I always, yeah. uh, I always understand. <laughs> I've never been in, big into football. I don't know why. Because we used to go every year to uh, Denver Broncos games. Since I mean, we're close enough. Yeah. I don't know. They were fun. I liked going to the games, but just sure. other than that, never got into it. Hmm. We'd go to a Broncos game in the winter and then go to uh, when the Rockies started. The Rockies? Jeez, now I can't even remember. Yeah, the Rockies. Well, then we'd go to baseball. Yeah, gotcha. Baseball games are fun to go to, but not fun to watch on television. Yeah, really? I'm with you on that. I, I kind of enjoy yeah. it. I don't know. I used to play it, so... I'm sure that has a lot to do with that. So. Yeah. If you used I to play this. a sport. Well, yeah. yeah, I used to play when I was younger, but yeah. Yeah. Baseball and football are kind of my thing, so. Yeah, that's what I did too. Played football and baseball. Mm-hmm. Got a couple of those fancy concussions they talk about. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I did too. Yep. <laughs> To be honest, so even at that level, you still lied just so you could play, you know. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, then, I mean, it was just kind of like, oh, you got your bell rung? Get back in. Like, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember going to work oh, that yeah. one day, and I couldn't remember how to do something I did a million times. I'm like, that's <laughs> not good. Because <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I was supposed to block this uh, 300-pound lineman. <laughs> Your pads are. You're just not going to do it. He's eventually going to win. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I had a uh, – what was it? Because I was an outside linebacker, so I was okay size for hitting, but I was smaller and faster. Um, but the, you always line mm-hmm. up against uh, tight ends a lot. Um, and I remember one whole game I lined up against a tight end that already had a D1 scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> That was a that was a rough game on me, man. I think I I think I had a few of those hits you're talking about. I was debating if I should ask how that turned out. Or yeah, just, you know, it was a he's a big boy. Yeah. Up again. <laughs> yeah. Scotty P. I'm with Scotty P. Talk about listening to baseball on the radio. In the oh, Phoenix yeah. area, yeah, yeah we yeah. had a really good hockey announcer, and I, you know, do the classic thing, you know, turn it on TV but turn the volume down to turn on the radio to listen to it on the radio. Yeah, that's still how I catch the Calgary games on their. Streaming. We do that one. Yeah, we do that whenever we get Troy Buck or uh, Joe Buck and Troy Aikman <laughs> for our games. <laughs> I've never done that. I think I might have to try that. It's good. The only yeah. the only downside is the delay. Like whatever, one of them's always yeah. gonna be like way more delayed yeah. than the other. Yeah, because you know, I mean, I don't know what it is recently, but in the at least in the NFL games. <laughs> they're talking about something like, in, you know, in between plays, they're trying to explain something that happened. And you just like think back on what they just said for 30 seconds. And you're just like, that guy, that guy didn't say anything for 30 seconds. No. Well, you're I not don't know. To think about it. That's where you went wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, like that's, it was so blatantly obvious that it was just filler words. It was just like, wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're all trying to be mad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just, if there's nothing to say, just don't say it. We'll just hear them. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Here, it's a well, football that's game. Gr- that's what's great about uh, when you get Euchre, Bob Euchre for Brewer games. He would just go off on these stories about when he was in AAA ball and stuff. And <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, hey, there's a baseball game going on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Some comedian. Yeah, you gotta love I can't that. Remember the, yeah, can't remember who the announcer was, but he'd be telling a story about something and then, like, you know, a minute into his story, he's like, oh, yeah, bottom of the ninth World Series. Uh, somebody's up to bat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am a Cubs fan, though. Yeah? Ever since uh, I was a kid. Nice. I was always a big Ryan Ryan Sam fan. So, I like when I was a kid, I liked the uh, Rangers because Nolan Ryan was pitching. The guy was a beast. Oh, sure. Yeah. I've always been a Twins fan. Yep. Kirby Puckett. Yeah, Kirby Puckett. I mean, for when I was growing up and getting into baseball, it was, it was Joe Maurer, really. Or when I was an older, older kid, but just actually starting to understand what I was watching. So, yeah, they uh-huh. had Joe Maurer was in the one of the funniest commercials I've ever seen. It was a play on the old Coca Cola commercial with Mean Joe Green giving the kid the jersey. Oh, the Coke or their jersey? Yeah, yeah. yeah. gave him a jersey, so he's. Joe Maurer's doing something and, like, has to leave the game. He goes walking out. and So the kid, I think he even calls him Mean Joe or something like that. It's like, hey, Mean Joe. Mm-hmm. And like, it's okay. You know, you'll do better. Looks at him and plink, pulls off his sideburns, sticks them on the kid's <laughs> face. Whoa! <laughs> That's funny. That's when he got the big burn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Him and uh, him and Tory Hunter, I think. Are pretty... Yep. I liked watching those guys. So Brian's all the lucky indoors guy. We're we're brought in our garage. I'm wondering how that'll treat me later on in the winter. Yep. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I what well, I started my channel in. Early March, so uh, what was that? It's pretty damn cold in here. I like bun- bundle up. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, I might actually get, I actually might get a little space heater to put in the back of my truck with me. One of them uh, heater buddies or something like that. I can't remember what I yeah. got. The two, the two little cylinder propane on the yeah. sides. Yeah, that's what I got in here. Uh. Yeah, I need to yeah, get I on that. I started level. in December. So <laughs> I think it was mm-hmm. December. So December will be yeah. two years. <laughs> yeah, because you kind of, you're around the same time I was, just a couple months later. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of guys that came in at that time, don't make videos no more. Mm hmm. Oh, Ben's rubbing it in. Smoking inside equals the best. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me either. Well, it depends. There's some that don't pass the wife test that I can't smoke inside. <laughs> hmm. yeah. We got a spare room, and I always threaten to put a little like uh, ventilation fan or something in it and turn it into a smoking room. <laughs> My wife says sure, but I think it's because she knows I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I might... I might do that with like a shed, <laughs> not like in the room, but uh see that's why it's like a nice ice house or something. Yeah, like uh yeah. Um that would be that'd be all right. I think it was it was already kind of a winning I kind of already won a battle just just putting the tobacco in the house. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna try smoking it in the house. <laughs> uh, so yeah, maybe well, some I'm sure if I did this out in the living room, that'd be a big kibosh. If I was talking to you guys, you just pipe and pipe and pipe. <laughs> That'd probably end real quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of sad that uh, my porch smoking season's almost over. 
But yeah. Oh well. I will be curious though. I mean, because I've been smoking a lot of cigars. I'll be curious if I start to slow down in the winter like everyone else says they do on the cigars. I actually smoke more in the winter. Hmm. Yeah, I think with cigars, no, no, one of the big things, at least for yeah. me too, is just with the, I mean, there's just a lot to risk to have it like start to crack on you and stuff like that. Hmm. Honestly, I've found bumping my humidity down a little bit in the winter and that's kind of reverse of what most people say but bumping my humidity down on the cigars in the winter i have very little issues with them splitting or cracking or anything uh smoking them hmm. <clears throat> yeah we'll see maybe i'll only smoke them like at at my smoke lounge but i don't know see it depends to me with too with gloves like being outside wearing gloves it always makes me paranoid holding on to my pipe yep. i'm just burning the crap out of it and can't feel it <laughs> <laughs> yep that's northern northern pipe smoke struggles yep <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real mm-hmm well, you need to get a little ice shack and you can go ice fishing and be your little smoke shack. Yeah, yeah, definitely. See, that's what Seems I always thought, time. like after after the winter or something, when they're all like uh, clearing them out of like Cabela's and stuff and people are selling them on Craigslist. I mean, they're built to keep you warm in the cold, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get your little space heater in there. Just fire up the generator when you go out and smoke. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The cheek test. Yeah. Scotty. Scotty P points out the obvious, and I don't think about do the cheek test. I could, but I, don't know. I live on the edge, I guess. <laughs> 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 so scotty p have you tried that uh that alec bradley american sun grown yet it's slowly becoming one of my favorites i'm gonna have to try get yeah, my buddy picked up some of the uh Undercrown sun grown and yep, that's Florida sun grown. So I'm really looking forward to trying both of those. Dude, you're not going to be disappointed with yeah. the Undercrown. I haven't tried the Florida one yet, but yeah, that, un that Undercrown is good. <laughs> uh, who is it? Fuente makes has a, just a couple of sun grown varieties, I think, that that are real nice. I, I think can't I think of what line they're in, though. Hmm. Is it that uh, the new, uh, what is it? Uh, Eye of the Shark? No, I don't think I've even heard of that one. Yeah, that Eye of the one. Shark? Yeah, it's, that's, what, that's what it's called. <laughs> is it one of their, like, shark... <laughs> um, shapes like it starts out box press but then like basically turns into torpedo i'm not sure i'm not sure about the shape i just uh saw the band it's got the it's got like black on the band mm. i don't know i don't think it says i don't even think it says i the shark on the band but that's what they call it mm. yeah aj fernandez scotty p smoking the aj fernandez and olivas olivas are real nice <clears throat> you know what i was watching because I kind of binge watched uh, the interviews for the ICPCR 2017. Mm -hmm. um, dude, there is a ridiculous amount of sticks that were released that were for other companies blended by AJ Fernandez. Oh, yeah. He does a lot of so, that. 
Yeah, it was, there he's everywhere. He's, like they kind of almost like now every brand needs an AJ Fernandez stick. I think a lot of that too was a mad rush to get some stuff out before uh, the FDA stuff was finalized. Mm-hmm. Which now I guess we got more time, but just that flurry of activity there was was incredible. Like even the Deadwood Tobacco Company with their they've got some exclusives that Drew Estate makes, and they yeah. launched those around the world. Mm-hmm. What are those? Are those are those infused? Supposedly they're not infused. They use like exotic tobaccos. They are. Hmm. They do have a sweetened tip. If you've ever had one of the natural mm-hmm. line, it's based on their naturals line. So they're not supposed to be infused, but it's just the tobaccos themselves aren't really traditionally cigar tobaccos. Hmm. But they're. I mean, they're. I'd say they're right about in the middle of like an infused cigar and a regular cigar. You, you get okay. kind of those sweet infused flavors, but you still get the tobacco flavor. Okay. I'd I'm just, re- I'm really not a fan of their, uh, their sweetened tips. No, I was yeah. just going to say if they would make a line without the sweetened tip. Yeah. With that, I'd, yeah. That'd be pretty good. That, that sweetened tip, whatever they do to it, it's just so overwhelming. Yeah. It ruins the entire, like you can't, al- you almost can't even taste the smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I had one of the, I had an Isla, Isla de Sol. Yeah. Couldn't even taste the freaking cigar, man. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just, it was just all candy on the end. I don't know. Yeah, I know a guy that'll go through a box of those every other week. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Don Garcia. Yeah, he did a lot, a lot of blending for people too. Mm-hmm. They make some really good. Basically, anything that comes out of the My Father factory is going to be pretty tasty. Dude, I haven't had a bad one. Mm-hmm. My favorite, my my favorite over anything is uh, Le Bijou. So, yeah, that one and uh, I mean that one's really close to the Ash and Virgin Sun Grown still, but those two. Every time I have one, I yeah love those sticks. Mm-hmm. Oh, gee, cigar bit. I had to block that from my internet. It's it's on the ban list. <laughs> <laughs> Man Manowar and diesels. You know who I really like, though, for cigars? They, they don't do, like, the cheesy promotion stuff, like the Cigars International and stuff like that, but they it shows in their price is uh, Atlantic Cigar, and I don't know why more people aren't aware of them. Just about everything is available in singles or or five pack, you know, and then a box. And the prices are consistently the lowest of anyone else. Really? But again, you know, they're not doing all the stupid promotions. You know, get a get a lighter and a cutter with a box purchase and all that stuff. I mean, they put their money back into their cigar savings mm-hmm. instead of like the promotions. Yeah, you, it's really hard to beat Cigar International's like big sample pack. Those like the the s- sample builder packs or that they do. Yeah, like that. Uh, I just bought the Spooktacular, and it was for this those cigars that I got. I would I paid like ninety bucks for thirty cigars. Mm-hmm. And no, they, the quality, yeah, they they do have some pretty good samplers. Yeah. So I'm going to round out the evening with a little Drew Estate meat pie. Talking about Drew Estate. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This is all I have left. Dun, dun, dun. All you'll ever have. Yeah. That stuff's hard to find now. Breaking out the old, uh, this was the, the uh, giveaway pack thing. Chris Morgan did the most recent one. Got the nice. little bones. You know, I saw recently on his Instagram was the, uh, Doing that, uh, I don't know if he's uh, burning it electrically with the uh, the lightning bolt yeah. type. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see that? Lichten, yeah. Lichtenstein yeah. or something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. That makes me mad because I, I, that's something that I wanted to try to do. And now exactly. I, do I thought it was going to be. 
It's I was wondering about that too. Now. I was like, "Son of a bitch!" <laughs> it's gonna be he's like the uh, he's like the Simpsons from South Park. Yeah. Everything they want to do with the pipe, they'll be like, yeah. "Chris Morgan did it." <laughs> yeah. Dang it. <laughs> he might. Yeah, because I follow. That, I follow that's a, a good of, idea. I follow a lot of the science channels on YouTube mm-hmm. too. I'm kind of a dork like that. And <laughs> that one, they were they were doing that with wood. And yep. <laughs> he was like, wow, that would be great to do on a pipe. I wonder how that would turn out. Yeah. yeah. That was a while back. And then, yeah. Yeah, that it looks Christmas amazing. Ruined it. Yeah. I would love to have one of those, yeah. The uh, meat pie, Scott, is that the first tobacco you've ever tried, you said? I like the meat pie. I've only had a couple other uh, of their other offerings I didn't really care for, but hmm. meat pie is good. It's got kind of a nice charred flavor, I guess, is the best way to yeah, describe very, it. I would call it savory. It's not very, not yep. too sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's a good amount of oriental flavor that comes through, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know what's in mm-hmm. there. Some, some other than Virginia <laughs> flavor coming through. <laughs> Well, I packed another bowl of BCA, and now I'm smoking this oven alley. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Actually, if you guys want to see a really good uh, tobacco review, um, I'm sure you guys watch matches. Mm-hmm. And he has uh, – I don't think I've ever I heard of what... this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's new. He's new. Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> um, throw a shout out. What? <laughs> He does a <laughs> he does a review of this one tobacco that's supposed to be bacon flavored or something. And as good as he is at explaining tobaccos he likes, when it's a tobacco he does not like, it's just as elegant the way he puts it. <laughs> I saw that. The bacon nice. bacon old fashioned. Or something, yeah, it was in that little mason jar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Briar Works. Bacon old fashioned. Yeah, it was one of the one of the best reviews I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and then he opened it a year later and tried it again, and it wasn't much better. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Briarworks uh, Country Lawyer, though. I I haven't had that one. That I really yeah. do want to try because of the um, cigar leaf. Yeah, well, it, there's something about the combination that they hit with the cigar leaf and the Kentucky. Something about that really, it's a good combo. Because... Um, Cornell and Cornell and Deal recently did that with their new bluegrass that they came out with. Mm. It's the same same ingredients except for one thing. I forgot what. I think maybe they added a little burley, probably. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. I love that flavor combo. It gives it because uh, you know how a lot of cigar leaf blends don't really have a lot of body to them. Mm-hmm. Seem to be a little lighter, so. With the Kentucky, it really, it really adds body to it. It's good. Nice. Yeah. So Andy, you still snoozing? Oh yeah. Yeah. I haven't got any good ones from Sweden for quite a while, but. <laughs> I recently quit snooze. Did you? I did. I. Uh, yep. I'm. I'm gonna. Get, I'm getting uh, Invisalign, so. Had to have uh, that Yeah. Um, but yeah, actually, it was actually pretty easy. I just went right to Nicorette gum. Pretty much like the same kind of uh, same kind of thing that I don't know. The gum snooze kind of goes together. Yeah. Yeah. I started a little while ago, and then I wanted because you can get general snooze. Yeah, a couple gas yeah. stations here, and it was it was yeah. pretty good. Yep. And then I, I shot Jay a message on Instagram, J, 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 JDXX, because <laughs> mm-hmm. he uh, knew some of his videos, talks about it. So he gave me some websites to go to. I got all excited. I find out I can't get it in Wisconsin. <laughs> oh. They don't ship it there? No. <laughs> that sucks. Nope. Yeah. I was like, they ship everything here because I'm reading like where it doesn't ship, and you see like Washington, <laughs> all the you know your usual stuff, and then it's like, uh, you know, I'll just see. Like, what? Whoa, whoa, what? yeah, That's yep. A bummer. <laughs> I was like, 
Ben is wondering yeah. about nasal <laughs> stuff. I got you know a couple of sites. I'm like excited about it. nasal stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've had it a couple of times, and I wasn't I wasn't disappointed. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I have some around. I like the uh, yeah. you know talking about uh, seasonal blends. The uh, Scotch snuff is really great for the uh, cold weather in the winter. It's just like a sitting by a campfire. Hmm. Yeah, it's surprising too. I just like it kind of. It lasts a long time. Usually, I, I figured it would just be like one blast of flavor and that'd be it. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, it sticks with you. Hmm. It's good. Yeah, I can't get nasal snuff here either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I have? That's I had uh, it was something. It it's was so weird. <laughs> that is weird for Wisconsin. Um, yeah, but the nasal stuff that I tried, it was. Working. It had some like chocolate flavor in, in there or something. It's good. Mm. I don't think I've ever had anything with chocolate. I can get uh, I get some pretty good varieties around. There's a couple of the uh, toke varieties at one one spot. Most of them have the silver dollar line. Mm -hmm. mm. And what is there? Wilson, Wilson's of Charo or something like that. I can't remember the name of that. And then there's Doctor Doctor something. Hmm. Well, gentlemen, I think I might have to call it soon. All right, no yeah. problem. We might just go ahead and wrap it up then here in a bit. Right. Good stream. Oh, yeah. Good stream. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna have a, a bunch of different people on this channel, or yeah, yeah I hope so. Just kind of <clears throat> that's a good time. Know, same format. Just get a couple people who want to join in. Yeah, yeah. Scotty P keeps saying that he's down. <laughs> 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 gonna try to talk. Well, ben it's nice because like I don't have a pipe club or anything around me, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's always try awesome to, talk to... Ben into getting to getting on one time. Just have his. Uh, oh boy. I'll just do the old. Uh, That'd be a good one. There we go. Just like that. Seeing, <laughs> seeing Ben's artful codger up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can have him be all the guests. He could do the voices then of different people. <laughs> oh, I think you're onto something. That'd be great. <laughs> find a way to find yeah, a way to you, stream like black and white. One tip I'll give for people that are going to do this, bring more to drink than you think you're going to need to drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we thought it was going to be uh, an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, I was hoping like that, that, that yeah. an hour might be stretching it, but that's nice. all right. It's, yeah, uh, that flew by. Yeah, I smoked three bowls. It was a good time. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Well, I think we might as well go ahead and sign off. So if uh, – See, we still got three viewers out there. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, hanging out with us tonight. If anybody's watching uh, up on the channel, thanks for watching on the channel. Make sure to join us live next time. And don't forget to check out uh, Brian, Badger Piper. And don't forget to check out Bryce, Bryce Parker. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for joining. And don't forget yeah. to check out Andy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys, for being the guest. I really appreciate that. The first real yeah, show. Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. No problem. <laughs>